Welcome everyone, this is Inside Jaros and this is a series of videos of how we redefine the javelin. company in Colombia uh, that was uh, the, that was the first company they have a, they have a really interesting vision initially it was to um, attack three branches that the military civilians and government so the the investment was to prove the concept because first of all you cannot work you not, cannot work commercially with these machines they're not certified to work commercially so the idea was to find things, the things that the gyroplane can do, and we prove the concept. We actually did it. We, we, we get all this information. So this is how we get to later. Um, that, was the, that, was, that was the civilian part. This is how we get to the later system. We, 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 we got in contact with this company that from a, is, is, a, is a Danish uh, production later system that is simplified, small. Um, it's very accurate and is very good for, for some kind of task like road mapping or some areas. Normally, a laser mapping or the aerial laser, the LADAR system, um, what uh, they do it in fixed winds because it's kind of they're, they're, they're attached with fixed winds and they have to be these big, 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 massive components and they have to do high altitude. So if it's cloudy, there's not work, and uh, there's, many, there's many things that may not work. Helicopters have a problem because their vibration, resonance, that they have to recalibrate the system. So helicopters, apparently, they're not the best tools. But gyroplanes, um, they kind of provide the best platform for, for LADAR system because they're stable, you can fly slow, you don't have problems with stall, you can, you, you can actually maintain speed, they are not really affected with turbulence. So that's one of the reasons this company said we, we, we approached, we start some talkings, they, they knew that we, we, are, we, we have models of gyroplanes at that time. So they approached to us and we started, the, the, our first task was to go to the north of Colombia and the idea was to map more or less 350, a little bit more than 350 kilometers of the road, because they, they, there was a program to expand the road, to make two lines. It was only one line right now, uh, well, at that time. I don't know if they did it at the end. So the idea was to fly on top of the road to get 100 or 150 meters beside of each side, so they, side, so they, can, make the, they can make it wider. So that, that was the first thing. So the, we start with the um, we start with the tandem, and this is when the fun begins. All the all the first part of, of all this task and all this test that we did with the tandem, it, it was it was a nightmare. The machine was not designed for anything that we we try. So. We start thinking how the first the, the first problem to, 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 to attack is the, the how we're gonna install the system. Although the system is pretty simplified, it's, it's an amazing system from Denmark, and and it's the size of a, of a suitcase of a of carry-on suitcase, more or less. This is this is the system. This is the whole system. It's very accurate. It's very precise. So what 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 I propose is to use the back chair of the of the of, of, of the gyroplane and build a metallic like aluminum very light in st structure they can be attached to the chair using the seat belts so it will be um, it will be well attached and in the side kind of a side wings more or less what we have here with the with the javelin that's one of the reasons that I will talk later about this the, the purpose of this is not just uh, for aerodynamics but the um, so initially they arrived to me with two massive boxes like like the square box it looks like like cage like a safe like like for banks 
and of course it flew the machine flew but it was like pulling at, at uh, an elephant it was um, it was very very difficult so we we we, we agreed to make <laughs> to make it a, a, a aerodynamic foil like um, like shape it will improve a little bit but it was interesting because you have to mount it dismount it um the cables the electricity battery again <laughs> we have to pass this battery again uh, and we did everything on the on, on the field but when we flew from from bogota to 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 the north is more or less 1000 kilometers to get to the to, to the base of operations so we flew in, in, in it was three scales to to be able to to reach because of endurance of the aircraft and we have to we have to we have a lot of rain in the in, in the, we have to stop it was massive wind this is the valley the the cordilleras the, the, this is like the tree and this the mountains when they arrive to colombia from the south they open in tree they open in tree so the 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 the, the, the one in the east is where bogota is then we have the center one and the west one this one is in the middle the the west and the center one so there is a valley of it's a, it's a massive valley kilometers of valley of the magdalena river and it goes from the mountain south to the north so we flew all the river and there is some uh, uh, runways that we can stay but some of the airports we cannot reach with, with they have fuel so we have to either arrive higher there is no taxis there is really really a small population there is no taxis there is no there is they have motorbikes you can rent a motorbike as a taxi so the guy arrive you jump in the back and they take you to some places they don't have fuel they don't have like like a 90 93 octane fuel they have like a really cheap really bad fuel so it was very difficult to find the fuel um, we have to carry in the back. There was a guy, another gyroplane pilot, a uh, friend of mine, who was in the back. And we have to first go to a hardware store, if there is any, <laughs> and get uh, a can of five gallons or ten gallons, try to find a two or three, go back in motorbikes with the cans, put it in. And we decided one of the legs to take one of the cans because we can arrive with five gallons or ten gallons. We can just make one trip. So it was this poor guy in the back with the bags, with everything, you know, trying to hold it. It was it's no space. There is no space. If you want to work in this machine, there is no space. There is no space. That's, that's one of the things that we learned, actually. So anyway, we managed to get to the, to the middle of the point and to arrive to the coast we have two choices in the north of colombia in the, uh, there is the sierra nevada there is a big mountain chain and actually there is a snow that you can see from there in the coast in the caribbean coast and you can see snow in the top and there is a massive national park it's beautiful um, there is two choices to go around take again the magdalena river but it's like two hours and when but when you go around you get all the north winds are coming at that time so it will it's not just two hours of route but getting this headwind that it will it, remember you're pulling a huge umbrella so it was very very tough of, of time the ground speed was that's actually minus 10 kilometers per hour you're you're, you're flying backwards so we decide to go up <laughs> and, and and yeah we, we just climb more or less 10,000 feet and the idea was to hit the winds but in descent so we just go down like Mary Poppins we just go down like it, it was the idea but anyway just carrying all the bags and trying to to, to, to accommodate this poor guy have the worst trip in his life I mean gyroplanes are the most fun trip in the world but this guy have the worst that the, the first worst trip in a gyroplane I think that guy have I'm sorry, Marco, but it was true. I mean, poor guy. Carrying all these things, in one moment, the temperatures are dropping because we took off from, from, the, from sea level and in, in the tropics, and it's very hot. Humidity is almost 98%. Temperature is above, high, above 100 degrees in Fahrenheit. 
so it's really really hot so we barely use the jackets when the, the idea was to put the jackets we just put the jackets in the back and then you just start getting into into the in, into the gear and in one moment he just tried to between the backs and everything he just tried to put the glove and the glove went to the propeller it was very very scary so anyway we 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 managed to 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 clear the cordillera we we, we go down when you when when you do later with the with this kind of precision system actually the the idea was to follow the road and the roads in in, in colombia uh, straight lines are not really popular so this is, is a lot of turns and hills and and and, and it is, it's pretty curvy let's put it this way it looks like a snake but in a gyroplane, we have a superpower. You can you can actually follow the road with the pedals. And in, in the tandem model, I have everything on front that is different than the side by side model. Because when we start doing later, the same kind of system with the, with the same kind of task with the with, with the with the with the with the, with the side by side, we have nose in the in, in uh, we have windows in the nose. So you can just focus on, on, on that part of the road, on that target, so that helps a lot. But in this case, with the, with the first we, we make, I have all the things in the front, so I have no visual on the front. It's like, like this, more or less. So anyway, the, we prove the concept, because the machine, the, 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 the concept of the gyroplane is perfect for this operation. It's not just way more cheaper. Uh, these companies that work with government uh, projects, they, they need to maximize the resources. Um, getting helicopters, they're not just not practical because of the recalibrating and things. That, that the problem that they have the helicopter are not technical, but, but if somebody that is watching this from, from later understand, it, it, will, it, it will get the point. The, um, the thing is with the, with the gyroplane, when we did all the tests that we donate to, to, to prove the concept, it was one day operation. When we do the leg and come back, it was like four hours of, of flying and, and, and it's done. I mean, the engineer come back in the next day and say, dude, we don't need to repeat. There is a lot of repetition in this. Sometimes when you, when you later is like painting. And if you, if you leave an area, if you, if you left an area with no paint, you have to repeat everything. You have to do it again. So this flying again to this point is the problem, but with the, with the gyro it's not, it's not a big deal. The second thing that we learn on this, because this I did it alone, so I have to focus on, on the flying and part of the navigation, they tell me the route and they also tell me the height that I have to maintain is like, an, is like the CDI of an ILS approach, the instrumental approach, that I have my runway and my glide slope. So it was more or less the same. So it's maintaining in the middle. So maintaining the, the line of the, the, the trajectory and the altitude. So it was very nice. Uh, I mean, the, this, this, the, the, this Danish engineer, it just make a magnificent, he kind of developed it later, developed later. Uh, it's way more easier, more friendly to do it. But yeah, this is this is how it works. So if you if you if you have to keep the same distance from the aircraft to the ground, and there is a small hill, you need to see the hill. And this is very challenging. There was a beautiful training for a pilot actually, and and and, and we do it. I, I, we we do it with the with the scenario based training, just just to maintain some altitude on the ground. So an elevation and, and just fly around and give you a lot of insights. It's very interesting. But we realized that, that definitely the machine is, is, is a key part of, the, of, of this thing. It's not the technology because the gyroplane can do it. I mean, the, 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 the concept of a gyroplane is, is, is very useful for many, 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 many applications. But the, the fact that we, we, we need a, a, a machine with space, so it's like machine and the machining involves space. It's very, very important. So yeah, that, that was the first one. It was, it was interesting just to fly with these things in the, in, in the side. In one of the runways we arrived in the north and it's, uh, it's operated by the militaries. And when I arrived with this crazy gyroplane with some wings in the back, there were it was a lot of questions. They were like, what are you doing? And I have to do all of the paperwork and we're donating this, we're doing for the government, the local government and so on. 
So, so yeah, the, 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 that was one of the most interesting things and, and how we proved the concept of the uh, LADAR photography. It was amazing for photography also. It's, 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 it, it helps a lot of companies that have uh, photography of areas like engineering. It's an, engineer, it's, it's an engineering platform that, that you actually can use as an incidental for the business, because you can actually. Uh, until we get the certification, but the, in the meantime, with the, with, when, if you have the machine, if you're not exploding the machine, if you're not doing something illegal, uh, is, is something that you really can do right now. So for uh, fire detection, uh, control in the, in the national parks, I mean, having a platform so cheap to operate and they can cover area and they can do a lot of, lot of these things that, that they really need, to maximize the effort to be a force multiplier is very very interesting what we do with the gyroplanes and and this is one of the one of my favorite stories not just because of the craziness it's not like the military and all the craziness it was just because how easy was to work with the gyroplane and how much training and how much fun you get when you are doing these exercises